guys have done it again introducing Coley AI it's just as simple as you type in in something and the creation comes to life right before your eyes and look it's available to you right now click the link at the top line of the description box right now this is the most amazing app ever Hot hit house. They ready to make me go viral. You boys is videotaping. They are taping my ass as we speak. I don't know what I got to say about this whole Diddy thing. I'm going to tell y'all how I feel about the Diddy situation. Y'all ready? But my thing is, and I, I like going back to it. I've, I have my, I've video like, video, this is how I feel, like everybody else. This is how I feel about the situation. And then I, don't send it, Luke. Save the draft. Type something, Twitter. This is how I feel about the situation. Save the draft. I got more shit save the draft than a little bit. Because I'm saying to myself, I don't have to, I mean, Nobody, I mean, what the hell? I don't have to say nothing. Everything has already been said. But I want to say this part. All these people who were around when all this shit was going on. If anybody's guilty, they are just as guilty as them. As, as the individual who did the dumb shit. I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be around no dude beating up no woman. I, I'm not for them... I, 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 I guess that's why I don't float in them circles. Because, you know, I don't get invited to those the little soirees and the little hitting parties and the little private deals and all that with all the fuckery going on and all that. They know, they know not to have, they know not to, I don't play like that. I don't carry myself like that. So if I see anybody and they know how I am, I love kids. I'm always helping people. That's what it's all about. If I was around something like that, I would definitely have said something. And for all them people who was around getting a check, turning a blind eye, all the fucking security dudes who want to run their mouth right now for a check, you should have stepped to that man and said something right then. If you saw something like that going on. <clears throat> Let me tell y'all a little story about myself. I was in the Bahamas. Saw a man beating up a woman in the Bahamas. I can't, my, my mom is from the Bahamas. I'll to give y'all a little fucking story. I was, I, to this day right now, I can't go to the Bahamas. To this day right now, I can't go to the Bahamas. You know why I can't go to the Bahamas? I was in the casino at a golf tournament. Golf tournament early in the day. And I'm at the casino at night. And this dude was beating the shit out of his girlfriend in the casino. And I went over there, but bruh, you ain't got to do that. It was another brother. You ain't got to do that, bruh. Calm down. Hey, look here, man. Y'all calm down. Dude then snapped on me. You know, all that. What the fuck you worried about this here and all that? And I carefully gave him a two-piece. And a uh-uh. And then they came, locked both of us up, put me in jail then in the Bahamas. I go to jail because I'm beating this dude because he beating on this woman and fucking, I don't even know, buddy. 
I can't go there now. I'm still trying to get my paperwork straight. Can I fight? <laughs> I'm a, I ain't even going to answer that. I ain't even going to answer that. You want to see a whole bunch of scars on this right here? Shit, me. I, I rap about uh, partying, having fun, girls and all that because I won't be trying to incriminate myself. But I don't, I, I try not to fight no more. I'm too old. But me, so I'm still trying to get myself together where I can go to the Bahamas right now because when I went over there, I didn't know this. I had to go back, go to court. The guy didn't show up. I'm thinking it's thrown out. And then what ends up happening, I go back 10 years later with my son, and then they stop me. Oh, you got to stop order because you beat up a guy in the Bahamas. But I, I have a problem with the people who go around. That, that I, I got a problem with people who go around. Somebody got to say something. I don't even like being around dudes who married and, and I know their wife and they're doing shit. I'd be like, bro, don't do shit around me. I'm fucked up like that. Don't call me when you want to go do wild shit. Hey, bro, don't know. No, I, I ain't no front. I ain't no fraud. None of that shit. That's why I stay in my own little world. Don't bother with me. It's crazy, man. This shit is crazy. I'm not going to even get into it. Y'all done said everything that could be said. Y'all done said everything that could be said. There ain't nothing else nobody can say about this video. Ain't anything else said. It's self-explanatory. What else the fuck you can say? Jesus Christ. You could only... You could only imagine... You could only imagine uh, that. Amazing. You can only imagine that. I'm like, where the fuck is your daddy? Where's your brothers? Where's your uncles? Where's your cousins? That's what I'm sitting up here saying. Jesus Christ. Shit. That could have been one of mine. I can tell you that. Somebody got seen it. That's what I be thinking, like, what the fuck is this? Hold on. But, Jesus Christ. Some people come from small families. Yes. Yes, they do. And I guess when people know that people come from small families, then they do shit like that. Or, or when you see dudes do shit like that, them the dudes who don't be one to step to no man like that. Step to a man like that. Small families is right. Yeah, I don't come from no small family. <laughs> all my all my little nephews got to do is hear hear something going on with me. They coming to to they running like like cats and dogs. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And that's how I was when I was young. Oh, God. This is bad. This is so bad. This is bad. I think I got... I, I don't know how much liquor I drunk last night because I couldn't... I ain't want to see this no more. I ain't want to look at... I don't want to hear nothing. I want... Man, and then I'm, in the, I'm doing a party for this young lady. Shit, I had to drink, drink all the liquor I could drink to get my mind right to go get on stage and... Make sure the lady had an enjoyable party, which we did in Milwaukee last night. Shots out to Milwaukee. 
and the young lady who birthday party, the lady booked me to come do a birthday party. You know? Then they fired up one of, one of the, the man records and I start drinking some more. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, I'm asking my road manager and the security like, fucking DJ playing that shit for? Probably the first time in my life I, I did not want to even hear an artist that I'm disgusted by. Diddy makes black wealthy man look like shit. No, he don't. I'm sorry, sweetheart. He does not speak for all black wealthy men. Nor do Harvey Weinstein, nor do Trump speak for the white people and the Jewish people and all that. No, he don't. No, he don't. All black wealthy men don't conduct themselves like that. We ain't doing that today. We are not doing that today. It's all humiliation and fake news. Shit. <laughs> hey, hey. One thing about CNN is a news network. Yes, we know they're propaganda news network, and all these news networks are propagandas. But then they don't. They won't air anything like that because they will become liable and get the shit sued out of them. They 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 corroborate stories and they have to fact check before they air anything like that. So I know you might be hoping that that might be some kind of AI deal going on, but unfortunately, it's not. Doctor Dre did it. Listen, man, it's amazing out here. It is amazing. See this shit on TV. You see this stuff on TV? Woo. Big Mike, respect, man. CNN doesn't report fake news stories. A lot of news outlets. Now, what a lot of news outlets do is they put their little spin on it, which in my opinion is not news, but they're not gonna, and they are propaganda, they'll put their spin on it to make it, you know, but but you don't gotta put no spin on that. Some things, you know, they don't put, you can't put spins on it. Yeah. We all hope that it's a fake video and the young lady did not get beat up and he did not beat the young lady up. We all, yeah, but no, I'm sorry, that's not the case. People just saying anything. I know, they was just saying anything. It's amazing, this world. That's why I'm telling y'all, y'all have to live your life to the fullest. Enjoy yourself. Don't let nobody disrupt your peace. Don't let nobody invade your privacy. You could do without. You can do without some things. You know, like I was sitting there looking at all this, these reports of uh, uh, the one lady. I don't want to. I don't like calling people names. Y'all, y'all put it together. One lady said, "I never loved him. I just loved it, the lifestyle." And then you got one other, another basketball player. Everybody want to talk about him because he, he. He didn't. He left the lady at the altar because he didn't sign the prenup. But mind you, on the other end, another lady. I didn't really love him. What? I ain't really love him. 
I just love the, the fact that uh, being uh, his wife, but I, I don't know if I love, what the fuck? And then y'all want to get mad because the man want to prenup? This other dude want to prenup? And then you want to get on here talking about who make who look bad? You want to get on here who look make who look bad? This shit is bananas. That's why I stated myself. I stay. I stated myself. I don't have no bunch of people around me. I stated, I just be looking, man. I'm a people watcher. I be looking at this wild shit going on. I go do my shows, appearances, get on stage, put on a fucking great show. I go hard on stage because I know people are going through shit. And I want them to be, if I'm on stage for 45 minutes, an hour, an hour, 15 minutes, or whatever the fuck it may be, I'm taking you away from everything that you're that you that you're going through, miserable, miserable. With your job, uh, if you having issues at home or you just not having a good day or a week, my job is to take you away from that, make you lose your mind for 45 minutes or an hour. That's why I go hard on stage. People have been wondering, why the fuck you, you, uh, you still working the age you are now? Yeah, 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 because I put on a fucking show because I know people are going through so much shit. In this world today, that they they need a motherfucker to get on stage, not hold a microphone, and be high, but actually entertain them. That's why I do that. Cause there's so much shit people gotta go through. Even entertainers, we go through shit too. This shit ain't all pieces and cream. Life is not all peaches and cream. It ain't beautiful every day. 